me on Alan Wake. I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. Thank you for coming, Matthew. I thought maybe you could write here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Now, she's missing. Alice? <laughs> Alice? I woke up behind the wheel of a crashed car. I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at. But the cabin had disappeared. Episode 2. Taken. And hello, my friends! Welcome back, Ancient Wolf Lord, playing some more Alan Wake. Um, I had to go into the cinematics playback because I accidentally uh, triggered the next thing without recording, so now we can continue game. I had gotten the first checkpoint after the uh, after the cutscenes. Luckily, there's a playback feature, so I didn't have to play back through. I'm home. Back here, sweetie. How was it? Worst weather I've ever seen. Yeah. Yeah, that does look pretty nasty. Um, hold on, I want to explore because even in this, uh, even in, oh hi, okay, even in stuff like this, you can find random collectibles. Like I'm pretty sure there was a coffee. Yeah, coffee. Hey, this is gonna be a long night, but these shots are turning out great. I guess you're gonna need that coffee then. I'll go put it on. They really want me to make the coffee, don't they? Well, I'm not I'm not ready to make coffee yet. I'll um a bunch of books, Return to Sender, What I Can't Forget, Alex Casey, The Things That I Wasn't, and The Fall of Casey. Oh hey, I can actually go in here. Okay, so there's some pills. Huh, okay, okay. Oh, hey! The continuing freezing rain and heavy snowfall have necessitated a winter storm warning in the entire tri-state area. People are advised to stay indoors, as many roadways are already closed. And city officials are not expecting snow crews to keep up with the weather. We're now on the third day of the blizzard, and the weather is not expected to clear up anytime soon. The Tri-State Area, isn't that like the most generic name you can give to a place? Because, I mean, aren't there like, I don't know, a dozen Tri-State Areas in the United States? Watch that claim be completely wrong, because I'm bad at geography! Yay! Anyway... <clears throat> been a while since I recorded. Um, coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. I picked up the thermos, so I guess it's time Coffee's to fill it up. I hate coffee. I don't drink it. I drink Mountain Dew. Oh, hey, Coffee's too bitter. I just those cover They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh, really? Well, you seem to think so last night. <laughs> yeah, they had to slip that in, I'm sure. <clears throat> anyway, what's over here? Uh, ooh, a manuscript page. It's true what they say about the fall and the sudden stop at the end. I'd lain here in the snow on the lurid chain of scenes that had led me here kept playing in my head. A Libra flailing private snuff movie. A memory of my corpse. Alone at my own wake. Thinking of metaphors again. The scent of the towel was gone. Only a sour taste remained of the kiss that killed me. This was a late goodbye. Thirteen years after I'd gotten my revenge. It had finally caught up with me. It had been a long time to bear the pain. My blood painted the snow red. The gruesome, slushy, 
dissolved all the scattered painkillers and leisurely drift down to the sewer mingling with the bile of the city, becoming one with it. I can see them now, my wife and my baby. Honey, I'm home. Okay, then. These look really good. I'm right here. Um, it, it's in the bathroom, apparently. I don't know. I, I, I. Okay. I'm actually not sure. Uh, I see the objective marker, but I always have trouble navigating houses. I really don't like this, Alan. Please I'm right hurry. here, baby. I'm fine. I'm fine. Just now, please. Oh, they're over there. Like right by the front door, apparently. Is that a common place for a fuse box? I don't know. Right, sorry, sorry. Yep, okay, I got him. Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay, hi. You okay? I'm sorry. I just, it just really spooked me. Don't worry, we'll just break out the candles. Whew. I know it's stupid, but it's just, especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, Ryder. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and the magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help <laughs> you, too. Yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you, even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. Okay. I suppose the backstory is fairly necessary. Anyway, back to the main attraction. Oh, Mr. Wick, any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wick, how are you feeling? I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Mm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. We should really? A couple of days. Thanks. If I had the, the kind of skill, I would... Mr. Wake, we're done here. And if the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife and Holy you die. crap! Doc Nelson was the image of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. I'm Dude. sorry to cut your morning fishing short for this, Doc. Oh, she's a beauty, ain't she? Not the biggest I ever caught, if you can believe that coming from an old fisherman like me. But she's right up there. Now, she's a largemouth bass, which is what you're after if you prefer a lure. You want either trout or salmon, on the other hand, then it's fly fishing for you. Um, you a fishing man, Mr. Wake? Oh, it doesn't really matter, I suppose. But it can be very relaxing out there. You can't get me off the water this time of year. Closest thing to heaven. Do I look like I fish? It, Doc. D does this guy seriously look like the type of guy who sits out on a lake? Throws her rod out and just sits there for hours. No. I know I, I enjoy fishing from time to time, but just go down the corner. Excuse me, sir, I'm talking here. I enjoy it from time to time. It's uh you know, two, three times a year maybe. It's not something I've ever obsessed over. 
It's actually been a while. Quite a while. And I prefer, uh... Yeah. So, where am I going? Wait. Have you seen this man? Disappeared. 06 20 07. Identifying features? Knack for winning contests. Missing. Richard Bow. Bruce Dansky. Jacob Miller. I'm pretty sure I messed up at least two of those names. Possibly three. I don't know. I could have. On a camping trip. Overdue. Haven't been in contact. If you've seen them or know their whereabouts, please call 555-9932. Thank you. Alright, so this is where it came from, right? Um, yeah, okay, that's where it came from. I like to know where I'm going. Blake, the sheriff is waiting for you in her office down the corridor. Please don't speak to me ever that again. Was Cynthia Weaver. I guess you can call her the town eccentric. She used to be the editor of the local newspaper, but she's focused on um, oh, other things these days. She Either change. Where I come from. As you can see, she's a little obsessed with maintaining the light bulbs of the whole town, refuses to step on shadows, things like that. Back in her day, she wrote about all sorts of weird things in the paper. Bright Falls has a colorful history. Of course, what small town hasn't? Either change your voice actor, or never speak again. You hear me? I'm gonna have a gun eventually. No, I don't want to listen to you talk anymore. I want this coffee. And I want to do this. Yeah, it's uh, Mulligan here. I'm at the oh. gas station with... <sighs> okay. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, this is Thornton. Look, we've located the brake float. It's here. That's the boot, right? It was supposed to be driving the boot to the entrance today. Over. Oh, give me that. Mulligan here. Looks like someone lit his flash in the garage. Over. That scared the crap out of me. What? I missed two pages? Alice looked through the viewfinder, lining up the shot. Calder Lake was breathtaking. Something caught her eye. A figure standing in the shadows behind the cabin, like a thin woman in a black dress. She lowered the camera and looked again. No one there. Just a collection of bushes that looked vaguely human-shaped. She shook her head and laughed. Yeah, laugh it up. Laugh it up. See where that got you, Alice? Huh? Then again, I'm the one who took the key. I, 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 I enjoy the random parkour you can do indoors in this game. Can I? Aw, okay. I should probably stop messing around. Sheriff Breaker is waiting for you Shut down up. The Shut up. Shut up. Don't want to hear you. Don't want to hear your voice ever again. You have the most obnoxious voice of any video game character ever. Well, I'm sure that's not... That's probably at least a little bit of an exaggeration, in, but... Wake. Your phone's on the desk. I'm already in. Dead. It's charged now. Oh, well... Thank you. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are all over the place now. Can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me. I need to take this. Hello? Alice, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to her, boss. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're gonna meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. We're watching you. I need some fresh air. Can I go out in the back, maybe? Of course, Mr. Wake. I understand. You can get there through the cells. Deputy Grant can show you the way. I'm sorry. Oh, please all tell me. This, it's just a lot to take in. Take your time, Mr. Wake. I understand. Can I ask you what the call was about, Mr. Wake? It's personal. Well, we are looking for your wife, and I'm going to need your cooperation if I'm going to help you. I need a moment. 
after I get some fresh air. Okay, you can find me here. We'll talk when you feel up to it. Okay, um... I always get distracted by the stuff I can read. Is there anything new going on in here? Whoa! He left. And he took that giant fish with him. That was a pretty impressive fish, a pretty impressive fish, I'll say. Can I help you with anything? Shut up! I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Of course, Mr. Wake. You can get there through the cell corridor. Just don't mind Walter in there. He's one of our regulars. Can I please shoot you? I thought he quit drinking for good. Oh, no such luck. He went on a bender and beat Danny pretty badly. He started shouting like that the moment he woke up. Also, where's the fish? Alright, I'm I'm going. I'm going. Goodbye. Goodbye. I don't want to hear you talking Thanks. anymore. I couldn't go anywhere yet. Aww. I had to play along with the caller. Alice's life was at stake. Through that door and down the corridor, pay no attention to Walter's mess or anything. No attention, got it. Hey Walt, how's it going? Oh, hey! I can just walk right in here. In spite of its human the dark presence as intelligent would have implied <coughs> human qualities and something decidedly inhuman. Nonetheless, it found the one spot in the diner that was dark enough. Some light spilled into the corridor, ravaging it. But it took the bang. Horrible as it was, the lighting would soon fix that. You would be coming to the one place where it still had power. I would like to point out that he actually read the excerpts from the Alex Casey book a lot differently. Probably because he was acting in character. It's true what they say about the fall and the sudden stop at the end. I mean, you, you can hear that difference, right? I'm not going crazy. In spite of its human mask, to describe the dark presence as intelligent. It's the same voice, but he, he's like talking more deeply. Hey! Hey, you! Can you help me? Can you turn the lights on? The lights. This light? Right here? Why should I, huh? No, oh, there's no di Okay, fine. I'll be a nice guy. There you go, man. You You sound You sound strangely like one of the Anderson brothers. Did he just... Did he just throw up? Okay, I'm getting out of here. Nope. The early morning light hurt my eyes okay. and my headache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. On the left! Yeah, I know that's right. Uh, hey! Stuff! Nope, 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 nope. I'm out, I'm out. I'm not listening to any of this now. Nope. The caller who told me to find a hole in the fence behind the police station. Nope. 
Sorry. There was something foreign in an abandoned car. Okay, for a second I thought turning off the music had done nothing. Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. The kidnapper fired his gun one last time, and the shadow vanished into the darkness it had come from. See? Nothing to it, right? The thought of Alice in his hands was revolting. We stood on the wooden platform of Lover's Creek, the waterfall in the mountain behind us, the lights of the radio mast blinking red in the heights above. I fought with the urge to take a swim, force myself to speak. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? And I think that's going to do it for today. Like and favor if you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed my videos as a whole, please subscribe. I'd love to have you guys around. And uh, make sure you leave a comment <clears throat> with your thoughts down below. While you're down there, make sure to check the description for the important information contained therein. I'm the Ancient Wolf Lord, and I will talk to you guys later. Have a good one.